You're watching Buzz TV's The Daily News, your one-stop source for what's going on today in the 3D and entertainment industries. Hello and welcome to Buzz TV's The Daily News for Wednesday, November 15th. I'm Zach. And I'm Terry. And starting tonight with some entertainment news. Frank Miller talks Sin City 2. Yeah. This is from SciFi.com. Frank Miller, who wrote and co-directed Sin City, based on his graphic novels of the same name, told Sci-Fi Wire that he plans to co-direct the upcoming sequel, Sin City 2, with Robert Rodriguez, despite rumors to the contrary. Yeah, that was a big thing over the net, was that yeah. they were saying that he had kind of backed out, wanted to do his thing with 300. I'm really but, excited that he's coming yeah. back, though. That is, I mean, I hope they get Tarantino to direct a couple of those things again. That was sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great movie. Moving on to some gaming news. Japanese PS3 auctions, not so hot. one com is reporting that while pre-orders continue to sell at ridiculous prices in the U.S. auction site, Yahoo of Japan says that most of their auctions have ended in cancellations, ultimately determined to be jokes or scams to drive up the asking price. That's yeah, lousy. Th this is lousy, but it's expected. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, oh, yeah. Well, here's some good news for the PS3. Create your own PS3 content. Yay. Yeah, IGN.com is reporting that when the PlayStation 3 launches this Friday, it will begin a new chapter for Sony's video game division. Look ahead. Part of the company's strategy is, allow, is to allow players to create their own content for the new console. Speaking to official PlayStation magazine, Sony exec Phil Harrison, which, doesn't which exist is anymore. going to be gone, <laughs> <laughs> Phil Harrison recently disclosed the company's plans to incorpor incorporate user-created content on the PlayStation 3 world. And it's a really good thing that they thought of that first. Yeah. I and, mean, uh, the 360 hasn't already been planning to do that for a long time. I'm no, glad it's coming out with their own content. Yeah, it's an original <laughs> idea. That's what's important. Not to say Microsoft has never stolen anything. Anyways, Halo 3 multiplayer public beta due spring 2007. For yeah. those of you who have been dying to get your hands on Halo 3, GameSpot.com is reporting... Early this morning, Microsoft announced that next spring it will stage an open beta test for the multiplayer aspects of Halo 3. The Xbox Live multiplayer public beta, which is a pre-release version of the multiplayer experience of Halo 3, is scheduled for availability in spring 2007 exclusively on Xbox 360 video game and entertainment system. Like, we really expected it to yeah. pop up. <laughs> it's on, going to be on the Wii. Yeah, it's going to be <laughs> Halo 3 coming to the Wii. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> said Microsoft in a statement. And oh, Halo's fifth anniversary is tomorrow on the 16th. Yeah. So Halo is five happy tomorrow. Halo Day, whatever. And mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Several US PS3 games are apparently region free, mm. for those of you who care, according to 1up.com. <laughs> uh, importing Superstore National Console Support notes that the American versions of both Tony Hawk's Project 8 and Marvel Ultimate Alliance which I saw at E3, uh, work perfectly on the Japanese PS3, thus upping the available titles from a paltry 5 to a slightly less paltry 7. <laughs> Apparently, it's okay to import games now. So, I mean, yeah, they kick out Lixing, and then all of a sudden... Yeah, oh yeah, we're just going to make a region free anyway. Tony Hawk's Project 8, I'm interested in seeing. I did see Marvel Ultimate Alliance at E3. Yeah, everything I've seen about that, I've been... The intro movie is brilliant. Oh, yeah. Blur Studios did a fabulous job with that. Um, after you've seen the intro movie, go ahead and turn the game off, <laughs> take it out of the drive, and put it in another game. Yeah. Uh, moving on to some tech news. Windows Vista ju just became gold and has already been cracked. Mm. GameShout.com is reporting that uh, Microsoft Corporation just announced excitedly that Windows Vista and Microsoft Office 2007 have gone gold. But at the same time, hackers may have cracked the Windows Vista in anti-piracy measures. Various pirate websites have a version of Vista available to download, and they call it Vista Bill Gates. Very nice. <laughs> Physicists are promising wireless power for the cost of a few mu mutations. Yeah. <laughs> Slash.org uh, is uh, reporting the tangle of cables and plugs needed to recharge today's electronic gadgets could soon be a thing of the past. Researchers at MIT, as usual, have outlined a, <laughs> uh, let's say a relatively simple system that could deliver power wirelessly to such devices as laptop computers or MP3 players. Very it's cool very if it cool. works. If yeah, it just doesn't work, maybe it'll... I don't know, it'd be kill you. great to see your cat walking along and <laughs> just burst in flame. <laughs> 100 gig Ethernet transmission sets a new record. Mm. ArsTechnica.com Ars Technica is reporting that researchers at a California company have conducted the first successful test of 100 gig per second Ethernet. 
That's wow. per second. That's fast. Man, using a 4,000-kilometer fiber network for a demonstration at the supercomputing show in Tampa this week, Infinera uh, transmitted a 100-gigabyte Ethernet signal from Tampa to Houston and back again. That's pretty cool. That is impressive. You know, we're uh, out here on Dolphin Island, as some of you might know, and <laughs> yeah. we're on DSL. Which gets a very close to 100 gig, but not quite. <laughs> wirelessly connected <laughs> through the house. So I can only look at speeds like that and cry. Just cry. <laughs> Softimage XSI 6. Yeah. Yeah. Softimage.com reports XSI 6 software introduces new solutions for accelerated animation that simplify working with 3D characters and motion capture data. A new collaborative framework in XSI 6 software also allows 3D artists to work together non-destructively. Because <laughs> you know how much fun it is to destroy the work your other guy's doing. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> in a studio environment that provides easy integration with other 3D applications. And it's cool to see, you know, 3D apps kind of embracing one another. And yeah. Saying, you know, hey, we'll stuff. work with you now. It's, it's not, you know, so locked off. They're kind of realizing that, you know, studios use more than one app. So yeah. I think with that, though, that wraps up all of our news for tonight. So thank you very much for joining us. Be sure to catch us tomorrow night. And with that, we are out of here. Take care.